What up, pimps? Season 3 of Apex Legends is here. Let's belly flop into everything that is new. Apex Legends Season 3 came out today, drastically changing several key aspects of the game. Normally, the most exciting aspect of a new season would be the new Legend, but not this time. The highlight of Season 3 is actually World's Edge, which is a brand new map. The map's theme is fire and ice, and it is divided accordingly into a fiery wasteland in the south and some icy terrain in the north. Another major point of interest on World's Edge is the train, which runs all around the map. You're definitely gonna wanna hop on this train because there is a ton of new things to explore on the map, like these geysers that have replaced the balloons, and these vaults, which hold loot so dank, they belong in a dungeon. So you should drop into World's Edge today. Oh, and if you're wondering about King's Canyon, it's gone, for now at least. Respawn says they're going to wait and see to analyze the data before they commit to a plan for having multiple maps. Hey, hey Respawn, let us play the map we want when we want. Anything else is wrong. If your player base can't support two maps, you should not have made a second map. It is really, 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 really simple. Now, on to my man Crypto. Crypto is a hacker character whose abilities all revolve around his little drone guy. The drone is Crypto's passive and it detects enemies within 30 meters and even marks their location for Crypto and his allies. Crypto's tactical allows him to take control of the little drone guy, looking through it to see the surroundings. You'll be especially vulnerable while doing this, so remember to be careful. Finally, Crypto's ultimate is his charged EMP and this bad boy has a short charge on Crypto's drone and it will shock nearby enemies dealing 50 damage and slowing them. The EMP will also disable traps. Ultimately, Crypto brings several unique abilities to Apex Legends and hopefully he'll shake it up a little bit. Let's move on. There are also some balance changes coming to the game's other legends. Let's rapid fire through these, shall we? Gibraltar's allies will now use healing items faster while under his bubble. Plus, his ultimate has a shorter cooldown. Bloodhound will now run a bit faster during their ultimate. Bangalore's air airstrike will now deal twice as much damage. Wraith's portal will no longer deploy if you are downed while you attempt to place it. Pathfinder's grapple will now move slower, so you will take longer to actually connect to terrain. Plus, his zipline's cooldown has been increased. Now, Onto some item updates. There's a new gun called the Charge Rifle, which uses energy ammo to decimate enemies from way, way far away. The Skull Piercer and the Disrupt Around Hop Ups have been removed from the game to make two new Hop Ups the Anvil Receiver and the Double Tap Trigger. The Anvil Receiver will make the R301 and the Flatline into even more effective semi auto weapons, but it will cost a wee bit more ammo per shot. The Double Tap Trigger will enable the G7 Scout and the EV-8 shotgun to shoot two shots in rapid succession. Brian, take me home. Take me home. Oh, Don't tell anyone, please. Uh, there are also big changes to gold armor and the gold backpack. Gold armor will now give you the backpack's old buff, which lets you use healing items 50% faster, which is awesome, because you can now tell if an enemy has the best item in the game just by shooting them. The gold backpack will now give a new buff called Guardian Angel, which makes you give more health and even shields to allies that you resurrect. The gold armor's executioner buff is no longer on the item itself, but all legends actually have that ability as a passive now. If you execute an enemy, you will get all your shields back, no matter who you're playing, no matter what your gear is. Really, really sick. There are also a ton more quality of life improvements and bug fixes, so honestly, you should just drop in. You shouldn't even be watching. I mean, we shouldn't even be filming. On it, like, no, Sean, the, I gotta play. Can't cancel. It's cut. Hey folks, sorry, we kind of ran out of time here and we got to play a lot of Apex Legends, so Caption Contest, Question League, not going to be featured here, but it's still on Moot. If you want to check it out, if you want to enter, it's all in the description below. And here's a little clip of me dancing. Back to Apex.